Building custom choppers with tight deadlines, camera crews filming your every move and mistake, and trying to run a successful business. Yeah, we all saw how well that mashed together. Fact is, some of us tuned into American Chopper just to see these blowout fights, and most of us thought, um, these have to be fake. No way could a father and son fight like that and still work together, right? Well, you will be shocked to find out the truth at the end of this video. Welcome back to Tuna No Crust. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button like Junior smash that window and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our crusty uploads. Now, let's get into these fights. I'll bash your friggin' skull and stop, stop. Give me the... Here, you wanna play? No, no, I don't wanna play. <laughs> So in this episode, Paul Sr. and Jr. are having a meeting in his office, while Mikey, who is one of the Tuttle brothers, decides to play his electric guitar at full blast. Well, at first, Jr. isn't having it, and is trying to be as serious as possible and unplugs the guitar from the end. Of course, Mikey, being the jokester he is, decides to plug it right back in and start strumming the most annoying sounds possible. Well, this of course started the war as Paul Sr. and Jr. decide to take it up a notch and throw an electric guitar right through the office window, completely shattering the glass. Luckily, Paul Sr. being the oldest, puts on a motorcycle helmet to protect that precious biker hair. But Rick wasn't as prepared as broken glass came flying at him. Poor Rick. Luckily, everyone made it out with only maybe a cut or a scrape, but Rick sure wasn't too happy. What are you doing with your second pipe? I haven't figured it out yet. Will you leave me alone? Are you, I don't know. What more I think do you, you should want? Know. Let's get it done. Getting I know how long it done. takes to do an exhaust. You and it's not you really that don't. elaborate you that don't. it can't be done. I will. No, get it. Won't. Listen, I want the thing done Listen. today. Not only do I know how to use one, I know how to make them, Jocko. As tensions ran high to complete this one-off bike build for Will Smith on time, Paul Sr. gets into it with Paul Jr. to get the bike done quickly. As Jr. is working with Vinny on the exhaust, Paul Sr. asks, What are you doing with your second pipe? And Jr. responds with, I haven't figured it out yet. Will you leave me alone? And well, we all saw what happened next. At one point, Paul Sr. said he'd crush the bike if it wasn't finished that day. This is just one example of the differing views of the Tuttle family. Talk about fights, let's talk about one of my favorite fighting games I've been playing called Raid. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over, and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console-level experience to your phone. They've set the bar high, and there's no going back. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon raids, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. We have a link in the description below so you can download it right after you watch the end of the video. I've been playing raid for a while now, and these are some of the champions I've been using. First is of course Astralon. So Astralon is a beast, but that's obvious. Just look at him. Total beast. This guy also wrecks arena. Put him with Countess Licks, and it's pretty much over before it's begun. Of course, I have the scary, half-wolf, half-human Brachus the Shifter. This is like Paul Sr. after 10 Red Bulls. If you're looking to deal tons of damage in battle, Brachus is your guy. He just doesn't stop hitting. This game is literally so fun, and this month, Raid just released an insane amount of new content and new things to do. First up, they have released 11 amazing new champions, and also released almost 200 brand new missions to complete, with an exclusive legendary champion as your reward if you manage to finish them all. And if that's not enough, they also added 5 tough new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. That's an incredible amount to add in just one month. Once you're in, you can find me in-game under the name Tuna No Crust. And if you're fast, you can join my clan and we can play together. And it's that easy. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Now, back to these fights. 
this bolt right here. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, man. Mike, why are the front and some uh, people from Brazil want to see you? Go out there, stay out there for a couple hours. Keep the fans company. Yeah. Yeah. Do something, jackass. Yeah, you. You mother. On this episode, Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. are joking around with Mikey at the shop, telling Mikey that there are people from Brazil that want to see him, and that they are outside waiting for him. Well, Mikey sometimes takes jokes like this personally and fires back at the guys. I guess Mikey finally had enough of these guys' jokes. After his freakout, the three men felt bad about the joke and Steve came over to suggest that they apologize to Mikey. Lesson learned. Know when a joke is taken too far. You gotta, I, I wanna do, I wanna do a little more on this bike. So, design something here. What a loser. What'd you do on this bike? What are you talking about? Just what I said. Man, did Don't we equally on work bike. on this bike? Yeah, you, listen. Wait a minute, did uh, we listen. equally work on this bike? Every time I come out here, Vinny's doing a job and you're holding his hand. Me what and him split do? everything. We started yesterday. Get your hands dirty for a change. Do some welding and grinding instead of watching everybody else do it. You, you got an awfully nice house for what I did. You got an awfully nice house for what I did. So we all hate Monday mornings, but on this morning at Orange County Choppers, Paul Sr. comes on the overhead and pages Jason to ask him to help come up with a new design. Well, Paul Jr. calls Sr. a loser and the first starts flying. Sr. then accuses Jr. of not doing anything on the bike and Jr. thinks he's full of crap and him and Vinny works equally as hard. You can just see the get me out of here look on Jason's face. The real fight started when the word paycheck started getting thrown around. And well, let's just say Paul Sr. doesn't think Junior works hard enough and Junior thinks he doesn't get paid enough. I guess you feel that uh, you haven't been included in stuff that's been going on. You had every job opportunity offered you in this place and you didn't follow through with one of them. Not one. You've had every single job. You're the only guy that has I a contract to come in at know. 9 o'clock in the morning. How do, you, how do you figure it out? It's pretty obvious. You haven't followed through with anything in your life. No, you just let the people who are in charge here with me and Paulie constantly. You're a big boy. I'm a big like, boy. When I was 18 you years old, I was around here. the hey. Why did you use my lawyer? Why didn't okay, you use your let's, own? Let's skinny this. Why didn't you use your own? Two years ago, I trusted you. Did me? Boy, stand up for yourself. I am one right now you are, yeah, but you, 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 have you a don't even you. know what Listen. life's about. You never had a job in your life. So this fight actually came unexpectedly, as Mikey tried to have a sit-down conversation with his dad about him wanting to move on from the shop. Well, Senior wanted Mikey to know that he had every job opportunity and he hasn't followed through with any of them. As we already know, when Senior gets going, it's hard for him to stop. The meeting ended up going nowhere and changed nothing. Listen, I make the decisions around here, okay? But can't we work I'm, together on these things? Be here. Okay, so you just made the decision that we weren't going to do that with the wheel. He loves the drama. Listen, so just do what you're supposed to do and there would be no drama. Guy Why do you need me here? here? Why, Why do you need me here? I don't. See ya. Take I'm a a right. I won't leave because I own part of this company. I don't have to leave. Do you know what you do here to this company? You could literally drive this company underground by your actions. You have to. Do. You have to. So as well. I don't respect the you person should respect that does the same me. thing over and over. This fight must have had a clear spark or something must have gone totally wrong for these two to be that angry at each other, right? Wrong. Like many of these fights, they just seem to, well, come out of nowhere. In this case, the shop was supposed to have some wheels laced and the individual was late coming to the shop and Junior and Senior couldn't come to an agreement on how the wheels were going to get done. Out of basically nowhere, Senior says, I don't give a about you neither. This was definitely one of the nastiest fights we saw on the show. Do me a favor. Come in now, right? Come in my office. What's going on? Everybody's in here at 7 o'clock, and you come walking in at quarter to 8. When the is it going to stop? Who the are you? I don't get it. Day last week I gave you a list that's in your contract that you need to abide by. What the? Well, I don't know what you want from me. Just we're gonna. We're gonna part this thing. My I'm involved I'm here. Let me tell you something. Listen. If I wasn't I involved, said. this go to. That's. You know what? Get the out of here. 
If no father coming in the market, you're permanent. Yep, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, we saw just how mad Senior got when Junior was late to work or took too long of a lunch break. Well, clearly Senior had had enough. Tensions were at the breaking point, and there was a lack of respect between these two, and this was the result. Senior was taking note of all the times Junior came in and out of work, and Junior didn't care much other than that the work got done around the shop, and that was the last time Junior ever worked for his father. Sad. While it looks like these fights were fake or scripted, they were actually very real. Court documents and testimony from shop employees and producers of the show prove that these fights were actually real. If you take one lesson from the show, it's that to never mix family and business, because it almost always ends badly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are interested in more in-depth reasons why the show left the air, watch our other video in the description below. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already to support the channel and leave a comment what you thought about these blowout fights. Check out our Krusty merch store and save 10% off any purchase just by using code NOCRUST for a limited time only. We'll see you next time.